Hey guys, this is Brian from AR3D. We have got this Kraken that we got from STL Flicks. Not Kraken, Octopus. It was printed on our Bamboo Labs P1S, an absolutely gorgeous model, and we will be painting it up and bringing y'all along with us. All right, to start out, we're going to be using Incarnate Red from the Army Painters Air Color Trio. These paints are absolutely fantastic and go straight through the airbrush. No airbrush medium required. Just fantastic paints, and that's what we're gonna start with. So we're gonna go ahead, load in quite a bit of this stuff. And we are just gonna hit pretty much the entire octopus front to back. Now that we've got this first base layer of incarnate red on the octopus, a little overspray is A-OK. -okay. We'll be fixing that later. I'm going to take the pure red, just the next step up in the trio. I'm going to hit the high points like this area here to here, definitely all this head space and on the sides here. And we're just going to brighten it up a little bit. A little tip for all of y'all, I like to take a picture with my phone just to show off where these highlights really need to be. Really helps to visualize those shadows for you, just like this. Got that nice pure red going on now. Those highlights are looking pretty good and we're gonna go one step further with the highlight of this trio, which is Archangel Red. It's a little more orange than red, but it does pair nicely with all three. Army Painter did a really well, good job with these ones. Now I didn't add too much in here because this is only going on our high points. And if we look here, these are gonna be the brightest areas like right there on the top of the head here, those brows and very, thinly throughout. All right, now that we've got that skin looking pretty nice here, I'm gonna move on to doing the suckers. This is gonna take quite a while, so you just need to be patient. Try and hit only those. It's a pretty easy to clean up if you don't. I will be using this off-white mummy robes from the Army Painter, and we are just going to meticulously pick those out. I've got a size zero going to go ahead and get started here. Now there are quite a few suckers on this sucker. So we are just gonna take our time being really nice and precise here. I'm going to bring y'all back when I've got some of these done. All right. It's been a few minutes here and we are making some progress. We have almost done with this leg here and I'm just going to keep trucking along till it's finished. All right. 
while we're waiting for that red tone to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and pick out these skulls here and I'm gonna start with some skeleton bone. I'm going to use the medium dry brush from the Army Painter. Just pick these out right here. I'm not too worried about hitting the dirt because I will be painting that later. Just be very careful around the legs of the octopus. Now that that is dry, we've got the Archangel red again, and we're just going to slightly dry brush back over the orange spots. We're just catching those raised edges. We've got those skulls based up. I'm gonna switch gears and I'm gonna hit the dirt all around him with Vallejo Model Colors Chocolate Brown to start. So we got that first coat applied and then I completely forgot to record, but we just added this soft tone over all of the rope here. Now we're going to go back and we're going to highlight them up a little bit, just hitting the raised parts. I've got around a 50-50 mix of skeleton bone and the bulwark brown that we used to base it. And we're just going to hit those high parts on. We are just going to hit things like this up here where it's Nice high ridge, I'm just going to highlight that. We're going to do this for every piece of rope, just being careful not to get into those deep ridges. So now we're going to take a small amount of this imp yellow and we are going to dry brush this just over the highest points. You can see I've started it over here. So we're just gonna take it and in a singular motion, just swipe, swipe, just catching the ridged areas to leave a little bit of that paint on there.
doing some finishing touches, we're gonna hit these barnacles with the skeleton bone again. And then later we will highlight them up with mummy robes. Ooh, shoot. here but that's okay because we can just take a little bit of black cover that up it'll dry nice i've watered this mummy robe down quite a bit and we're just going to add this to the centers of each of these barnacles We got the coral here and the starfish over here looking nice. So we're gonna go and pick out all these little rocks on the bottom of the base here with dark stone. And there's not too many of these, so this will be a pretty quick process. You don't have to be too neat about it. Just slap it on there, cover them up, and we will highlight them up one time and then those things will be good to go. Now that we got those stones picked out, we are gonna take some uniform gray from the Army Painter and a dry brush. We're going to get some paint onto our bristles, work that in real well, and just dry brush a little bit over those raised edges. So like this, just catching it right at the top here. This one, same thing. Real quick, simple, dirty, and you get amazing looking rocks. There we go. And moving on to one of our final details, we're going to paint a pupil here on the octopus. Just make sure you get real steady, brace yourself, and just do a nice rectangle, just like this. add just a little bit of variance. I've got a super watered down demonic yellow, but I'm just gonna glaze over the top of the eye here. And with that, we pretty much have finished this model. All that's really left to do is to go and make sure the rim is flat. finished octopus thanks for joining me on this painting journey and we'll see you on the painting table again